the, this new channel because on the previous one I wasn't able to change the ownership. I was having a lot of trouble and then I just decided to create a new one. So what I want to announce on this video is that I released the Pavok ECS. This is an ECS implementation for Python and it makes the game development a lot easier. I'm gonna explain in a bit what, what ECS means, uh, but um, it's simple to install. You can see it here, just need to run pip install pavok ECS. It comes with a simple example. I'm gonna run it to show and explain how it works. And it's open source, so you can go to the repository, you can see the code, how it's done, you can see the tests, and you can modify yourself. So feel free to improve it, to contribute and to give any feedback if you are using this. Just a disclaimer, this is a beta version 0.1, so I still need some things to improve. I wanna test it more, I wanna create a game with that before I release a stable version. Also, I need to put some documentation, so probably that's gonna be on the next update. I have the example here and I'm gonna run it, but firstly, this is using Pygame. Uh, I just want to say that you don't need that, uh, you can use whatever you want, but I use Pygame because that's what I used to, so that's going to be it for this example. Uh, first of all, I'm going to create a virtual environment, because I want to install Pygame and Pavok ECS. That is done, I uh, should activate now. and install py, py game and pavok acs now that i have all the setup done i wanna run the example show the code and explain how it works so this is it i showing a square on the screen and i'm moving it bouncing it on the walls it's pretty simple but just to show how to use the ECS. So ECS stands for Entity Component System. It means that the uh, entity is gonna be kind of a container that is gonna have many components or none and the components are attributes that you wanna add to the entity. For example, I can have a player with a transform so I know the position and with a sprite, so I can print some image on that position. In this case, I'm not using sprite, I'm using a, a Pygame Rect. So I need to have some color to draw the Rect, I need the area, the transform, and I need the velocity to move the square around. So these are the components, they are just attributes that you can add to any component that you want, and it's pretty simple. And the systems are like the behavior, uh, what, what are you going to do with the components, what's the logic behind it. For example, if I want to render, if I want to render a sprite, I'm going to need um, entities that has the transform, the transform component and the sprite component. In this case, to render, to show something on the screen, as we are using Pygame Rect, I need the transform the area and the color. So where, where is the square, what's the size of the square, and what's the color. And that's it, systems are the behavior of the game. And our game, the structure is really simple. I just initiate in the Pi game, I create in the main screen, and then I instantiate the uh, Pavok ECS. Uh, self.manager equals manager and then to run the game I'm just gonna run the this method run method while it's running I'm gonna fill the background with some color I'm gonna handle the events I'm gonna update the systems make it run and I'm gonna show everything that was wrong on the screen and all of this is gonna be 6 frames per second. That's it. This is a uh, simple spy game. But let's go to the ECS part. So to use the Pavok ECS you need to import it. So from Pavok ECS import manager. 
to use the systems you need to inherit from the base system that you can get on pavokcs.system import system and everything that you inherit from system you can treat as a system itself uh, the components doesn't need anything special I use that data class just to make the writing simple but I don't need that I just need something that has some attributes for the systems I said I'm inheriting from system and then I need to implement the on update method it's gonna receive the surface and delta time in our case we're not using delta time here so we just use it as zero I'm gonna get back to this a bit later so explaining how to instantiate the events the entities I'm gonna have uh, some player entity here and I'm gonna call the manager dot create entity this is gonna create an empty one and then you can just start adding your components to it in this case I assign it transform area color and velocity so for example here I just say self manager dot assign the component class and the entity instance and then I say what the attribute was the values of the attribute. X is gonna be the fourth column and Y is gonna be the fourth row. The area is gonna be 16 by 16. The color is gonna be 200 for red, for green, for blue. We can change this. And then we as we are assigned the velocity to the player as in the X X axis is gonna be minus one. And is minus one pixel per update and two on the vertical movement so it's gonna go down two pixels per update and then if i want to add the system to be run um, by the ecs you need to call self.manager add system and the class of the system that you want in our case it's bouncing and render and then lastly to run the systems I need to call self manager dot update systems and I need to pass the surface and delta time. So in this case surface is a self dot screen and the other time we are not using it so it doesn't matter. If you see on the render system I I'm getting all the entities that has transform area and color. So if I wanna filter entities by component I need to call self.manager.carry and then a list of components that I want the entity to have. For example, I want all the entities that has transform and area and color. So I can just be safe that uh, the components are there. And if I want to get the component, like here, I can just use self.manager.get and then I pass the, trans uh, the component class and the entity that I'm gonna get it from so I get the transform, the area and the color in this case I just uh, create a Pygame Rect here with the transform and the area components and I'm drawing it on the surface using the colors that I just got from, from the component and the bounce uh, system it's gonna need transform, area, and velocity. It's not gonna get any entity that doesn't have three of them. So, for example, if I remove uh, velocity from our player entity, that means that it's not gonna move anymore uh, because that carry is gonna return none gonna return an empty list because we don't have anything with velocity anymore so if I run this to show you it's just gonna be static to the surface to the screen it's not moving anymore so uh, that's it uh, this is quite simple uh, but I want to make it simple just for an example, I'm working with that, I'm creating some game with that, and then I'm gonna update you on that later. And that's it for this video. If you have some suggestion, um, some feedback, please let me know. 
I still working on this uh, ECS so all feedback are welcome if you are using this for some project for some tests please let me know as well